I'm going to tell you the story of Benjamin Thompson, an interesting man who lived in interesting times. It was the 18th century, a century of revolution and war. He, he was involved in the, in the American Revolution against the British colonies, but he was on the side of the British. And so when things started to turn bad for them, he had to leave and he came to Europe. And in Europe, he became the Minister of War for the Bavarian government. As it was a time of war, they needed weapons and the weapons of the time were big, huge cannons. And as Minister of War, one of his jobs was to oversee cannon production. And so one day, Benjamin Thompson went to the cannon factory. And when he went there, he saw that all the workers were standing around doing nothing. And he became very angry. He said, this is not an efficient way of doing things. What is going on here? And the workers told him that they had to remove the drill from the cannon because they had to sharpen it. Now, the way they made cannons in that time was they cast a huge cylinder, a huge metal cylinder, and then drilled a hole through them, all down the centre, with a huge drill that was powered by horses going round and round. But these drills, they lost their edge and they had to be sharpened, and sometimes they even broke. So it was a long, laborious process. And so, Benjamin Thompson, who was a very efficient man, told them that you should, you should while, while the drill is being sharpened, you should use a blunt, a blunt drill to go on drilling the cannon, so time should not be wasted. But the workers said they can't do that because too much heat is generated and it's not good for the metal or the mechanism of the cannon. But Benjamin Thompson, he thought and he said, this does not agree with what I know about heat. Because in that time, in the 18th century, they believed heat was a substance. And when objects moved against each other, the heat was pushed out as a substance that it was from, from the metal. If that was true, he thought, then the heat should become less and not more. And so he went back home thinking. And the next morning he went again to the factory and he saw them drilling with a sharp drill that had been made ready the, the previous day. And he said, no, take out this drill and put in a blunt one. And the workers didn't like the idea very much, but he was the minister of war, so they had to do what he said. So they put in the blunt drill. And Benjamin Thompson started watching the cannon. And then he touched it, and it was becoming warmer. And then it became so hot that he couldn't even put his hand on it. And then to test his, what was going on, that the heat was becoming more instead of becoming less, he put the cannon in water and very quickly, with the friction of the drill inside the barrel of the cannon, the water boiled. And he was very perplexed. He told them to stop, he left, he went back home. And then he remembered that he had read that the ancient Greeks had a different theory about matter itself. He remembered that Democritus said that all matter consists of little particles of matter that are constantly in motion. But Aristotle had refuted this theory. And so the scientists in his time, in the 18th century, also did not give credit to Democritus' theory. And so he immediately started to write a paper 
to prove that heat is something immaterial. He published it in two languages in 1798. And he didn't publish it at home, but he sent it to other countries because he knew, he knew that scientists would not accept this theory easily since they were already working with another theory. And in reality, it took more than 30 years for his theory to be applied in science, the mechanical theory of heat.